Welcome to Electron Online. Our second video of how to add and subtract fractions when the denominators are not the same shows us case two. Case two is the case where the lowest common denominator is going to be the product of the two denominators. And there's two reasons why that may be the case. The first reason is when both denominators themselves are prime numbers. You can see that both seven and 11 are prime numbers. If that's the case, the lowest common denominator is simply going to be the product of the two denominators. 7 times 11 would be 77. And the second example here, again, both 5 and 7, both denominators are again prime numbers, which means that the lowest common denominator here is also going to be the product of the two denominators. But in the third case, it's clear that 9 and 4 are not prime numbers. So you would not expect to have to multiply the two denominators but if you take a closer look, notice that 9 is really the product of 3 times 3 and 4 is the product of 2 times 2, which means that the factors of 9 and the factors of 4 have nothing in common. They don't have any common factors, and since they don't have any common factors, you're also going to have to find the lowest common denominator by simply multiplying the two denominators together. Let's go ahead and show you then how to do that, how to execute these. Here we have subtraction. We re realize that since the denominators are prime numbers, we need to multiply the denominators to find the lowest common denominator. Or another way to do that is to multiply this denominator by the other denominator and multiply this denominator by the other denominator. Let me illustrate. This cannot be written as the fraction 5 over 7, but we're going to multiply that fraction, and where's my red pen? It's right over here times 11 over 11. We take the other denominator and we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 11. Notice that 7 times 11 will give me 77. That will be the common denominator. We then subtract from that the second fraction, 2 over 11, but we're going to multiply that fraction as well times, well, 11 needs to be multiplied times 7 to also make that denominator into 77, but that means I have to multiply the numerator by the same number, and here in this case we'll multiply that times 7 over 7. That will now make the two denominators of the two fractions exactly the same. This now becomes 5 times 11 is 55, divided by 7 times 11, which is 77, minus 2 times 7, which is 14, divided by 11 times 7, which is 77. Now notice, both of the denominators are the same, and we can go ahead and subtract the two fractions. This cannot be written as 55 minus 14 over 77, which is now the common denominator. 55 minus 14 is going to be 41 divided by 77, and that will then be the final answer of that subtraction. We'll do the same here. Again, notice that these are both prime numbers. We need, to make the common, we need to find the common denominator, which will be the product of the two denominators. To then add the two fractions together, we take the first fraction, 4 over 5, and we multiply that times, you guessed it, the denominator of the second fraction. And, of course, whatever we multiply the denominator with, we have to do the same for the numerator, or we don't have the same fraction. The fraction will not have been changed. So always make sure that you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the exact same number. We add to that the second fraction, 2 over 7. But again, we're going to have to multiply both the denominator and the numerator by number so that when we do this, we'll get the denominators to be the same. We have to multiply this denominator by 5, which means we have to multiply that denominator by 5 as well. Again, if you look at it carefully, notice that I multiplied this fraction, the numerator and the denominator, by the denominator of the second fraction, and I did the same for the second fraction. I multiplied both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the first fraction. That's how we get the two denominators to be the same. This then becomes the following. When we multiply fractions, we simply multiply the numerators together, and we multiply the denominators together. This therefore becomes 28 over 35 plus 10 over 35, which is equal to 38 over 35. If you want to write that as a mixed number, you can do that. Notice that you can write this as 1 and 3 over 35. If I subtract 35 from 38, 
I get 3. 35 divided by 35 is, of course, one whole number. There it is. Finally, to this one. Even though these are not prime numbers, we realize that both 9, when you write it as the product of its factors, 3 times 3, and 4, when you write it as a product of its factors, 2 times 2, have no factors in common. Because of that, the lowest common denominator can only be the product of the two, and so you'll treat this exactly the same as you treated that one. The first fraction becomes 4 divided by 9, multiply times, and again, you're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the other fraction, 4 divided by 4. Of course, you have to do exactly the same to the numerator as to the denominator. Plus the second fraction, 1 over 4, multiplied times, and again, you're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by the denominator of the second fraction, which is 9. Again, when you multiply fractions, that's easy. You multiply the numerators together, you multiply the denominators together. This becomes 4 times 4, which is 16, divided by 4 times 9, which is 36, plus 9 times 1, which is 9, divided by 4 times 9, which is 36. That gives you 25 divided by 36, and that would be the final answer here. You cannot simplify that any further. Notice that is how you add fractions or subtract fractions when the denominators are not the same, but either the two denominators are prime numbers or the two denominators have no factors in common at all. Then you find the common denominator simply by multiplying the two denominators together, and you do that in the following fashion. And that's how it's done.